Hi, I'm Lara Simonson from Not Enough Knitting. Today I'm going to show you how to do the wicker stitch. This is a stitch that I use in my Song of Love hat. I have an example of the wicker stitch. Um, I'm going to show you how to do it in the round because that is how it is done in the Song of Love hat. So before we get started here, I'll show you this is the wicker stitch on the Song of Love hat. This is the his version. Got a wicker stitch here and then you got the wicker stitch up here. And then on the her version, we have the same wicker stitch, one here and one up here. And this is what I'm going to show you how to do. Okay, the wicker stitch uses two different crosses, cross to right and cross to left. And I'm going to first show you the cross to left. And if you read the instructions on the pattern, it says to knit into the back of the second stitch, passing behind the first stitch, then knit into the back of the first stitch and slip both stitches off the left needle at the same time. Okay, I'm going to show you how to do the wicker stitch then on the sample that I have knit. We're going to start with the cross to left, as I said, so I just have to get there first. So just a few stitches on this piece. Okay, so here we are. So cross to left. It says to knit in the back of the second stitch. So we're knitting in the back of the second stitch right here, but we're going to go behind the first stitch. So we're going to go behind. Our needle's going to go behind and we're going to sneak into the back of this second stitch and we're going to knit it like this. But oops, sorry. Let's try this again. But we're not going to pull it off the needle yet. And now it says to knit into the back of the first stitch. So now we're going to knit to the back of this stitch and then we're going to pull them off at the same time. And you notice how it crosses there. So we'll go one more time. So knit in the back of the second stitch go to the back behind the first stitch, knit it, and then knit in the back of the first stitch, and then slip them off at the same time. And you repeat this all the way across. So knit in the back of the second, knit to the back of the first, and slip them both off. So after you got to the end of the round with the cross to left, we're going to start doing the cross to right. And if we're in our pattern, cross to right says, knit, in, knit the second stitch on the needle passing in front of the first stitch. Then knit the first stitch and slip both stitches off the left needle at the same time. Okay, so now we're going to cross to right. And if you look at the pattern, you always actually knit the first stitch. So the first stitch is just plain knit on your round. And then we use we do to use two stitches to do the cross to right. So it's just actually the opposite of cross to left. We knit the second stitch in front. We'll go in front of the first stitch and we knit the second stitch on the needle. Don't slip it off. And then I sometimes use my thumb to help get this the first stitch. Move my second stitch back a bit and then we go into the first stitch, knit it and slip them off at the same time and it crosses the other way. So let's try that again. So go, we're going to knit the second stitch, we're passing in front of the first stitch. Got it. Then I use my thumb to pull this stitch, stitch back so I can get the first stitch, knit the first stitch and slip them both off. I'll show you one more time. So we're going to knit the second stitch, passing in front. Use my thumb to get, pull it back, get the first stitch and pull them off at the same time. And you notice how they're crossing in opposite directions. And that's all there is to it. Then you do cross to right all the way around around to the end of the round. You'll be, have one more stitch that you will knit and then you'll be back to cross to left. So good luck.